debate. The Honourable Member for Vaughan Woodbridge. Thank you, thank you, Mr. Speaker. Buon pomeriggio a tutti. Signor Presidente, e con grande orgoglio che io, figlio di immigranti italiani, mi levo in piedi di fronte a voi per parlarvi di questa mozione che propone di proclamare il mese di giugno quale mese del patrimonio culturale italiano. Good afternoon, Mr. Speaker. It is with great pride that I rise today as a son of Italian immigrants to speak on this motion, which would declare June as Italian Heritage Month. La mozione riconosce il contributo che italo canadese hanno dato alla società canadese la ricchezza della cultura e della storia italiana in Canada e l'importanza di ricordare e promuovere il patrimonio culturale italiano per le future generazioni. The motion recognizes the contributions that Italian Canadians have made to Canadian society, the riches of the Italian culture and history in Canada, and the importance of educating and reflecting upon Italian heritage for future generations. Per molti immigranti italiani, la storia italo-canadese è una storia di sacrifici, di loro lavoro, di relazioni e di successo in fine di integrazione in, questa, in questo bellissimo paese. C'è un proverbio tra gli italo-canadesi che dice che l'Italia è il paese dove sono nato, ma il Canada è la mia casa. For many Italian immigrants, the Italian Canadian story is one of sacrifice and hard work, achievement and success, and ultimately of integration into this beautiful country. For Italian Canadians, there is a saying that Italy is my native country, but Canada is my home. This year will mark 57 years that my family is in Canada. My grandparents, along with their seven children, left southern Italy and the province of Calabria with nothing but what they could carry. They sailed from Naples on the board the vessel of Volcania, arriving at Pier 21 in Halifax. Much like many Italian immigrants, they left to find better future and settled on the west coast of Canada, where they worked in construction industry, pulp mills, fish canneries. I think humbly of my parents, my aunts and uncles who came to Canada with little knowledge of English, with little or no formal education, but what they did have was a sense of pride, a work ethic, an unwavering commitment to provide a better future for their children. I think of my father, who like many Italian immigrants became a tradesman, a carpenter, a roofer, a sheet metal worker. He taught me the values of integrity, a strong drive to succeed, and a commitment to family. My mother worked tirelessly in a fish cannery. In the morning, everything would be ready for myself and my two brothers. And after a long day at work, she would come home, cook, and make certain the house was spotless. My parents not only taught me the value of hard work, but the value of a dollar saved. This is the kind of people they were. I think of the contributions of the trailblazers who opened the door for many of us. Frank I. Cabucci, the retired Supreme Court Justice. Charles Caccia, the great environmentalist, social activist, and former MP for Davenport from 1968 to 2004. Pietro Rosuto and Peter Boza, both senators appointed by Pierre Trudeau. Johnny Lombardi and Gaetano Galliano, whose legacies in the media business continue today. I think of the success of the Canadian Italian business community that stretches across this country. Names such as the Brattis, the Bozas, the Gaspers, the Cerberas, the Cordelucci's, the Dezens, the Aquilini's, the Muzos, the Baldesseros, the Saputos, and many more. I think of the rich richness and vitalities in the communities Italian Canadians settled in, commercial drive in Vancouver, College Street in St. Clair in Toronto, and St. Leonard in Montreal. Mr. Speaker, I, I am privileged to represent the riding of Vaughan Woodbridge, which has the largest concentration of Italian Canadians in Canada. My greatest enjoyment as MP is visiting the seniors groups, where many recount their stories of arrival in Canada. In Canada. They, the hardship they faced, including discrimination and bigotry, and how much they sacrificed for their children. They are all proud of being Canadian and thank the opportunity for a better future this country gave them. Mr. Speaker, in closing, I'd like to read a quote from the commemorative plaque on the Italian Fallen Workers Memorial of Ontario. During the great diaspora of Italian immigration between 1870 and 1970, thousands of Italians left their homeland in search of a better life for their families. Many of them found their way to Ontario, where they toiled beyond belief in all the harshest industries of the last century, digging the sewer systems of many Ontario cities, creating the structures for the new hydroelectricity plants, building the massive bridges and tunnels of our, of our transportation infrastructure, mining for ore in Ontario's north, and erecting residential and commercial buildings in the blossoming construction industry, which ultimately built up this beautiful province. Per questo sono onorato di essere qui oggi, di far parte di questo incredibile gruppo di persone che chiama il Canada la propria casa. Siamo davvero orgogliosi di essere canadesi perché questo paese così bello, variegato e tolerante ha dato, ha dato tanto a tutti quanto noi. Grazie a tutti i partiti della Camera e dei Comuni per aver appoggiato questa importantissima mozione 
che ci rende oggi tutto, tutti, scusa, italo canadese. So I feel honored being here today, Mr. Speaker, being part of this incredible group of people who call Canada home. We are so proud of being Canadian as this beautiful, diverse, and tolerant country has given so much to us. Thank you to all the parties in the House for supporting this very important motion that makes us all proud Italian Canadians today. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.